we talked a little bit, or quite a bit actually, about the different roles that people play in co-ops in order to achieve impact. But what's underneath all that? What supports those roles? What supports the co-op as that purpose-driven organization that it is? Well, we know that businesses need systems and structures in order to function and, and achieve their objectives. Teams need to be trained. Those teams need to communicate. That communication needs to be quick and simple and easy. And when those structures work, then the organization functions at a really high level. And that reflects on the outside of the business. And it reflects in such a way that the customers feel it, and they have a great experience. It looks like the business knows what it's doing. Well, that's true for co-ops, too. But it goes a little bit beyond that. Of course, structures help us with our operations. But they also help us move us towards our, our goals and our ends. And they help us organize our roles in the co-op. Some examples, the marketing plan with the program that, let's see, helps local signage come to the store and lets the customers learn the stories of the local vendors. Or another example of a system is customer service training program and one where not only are they taught the mechanics of customer service, but you learn and focus on those relationships between the shoppers and the staff that are truly genuine and authentic and personalized. And then the other aspect of systems that we've been sort of talking about and the thing that's really important in all of this participation work is appreciation again. And systems can also help us appreciate. And a couple of examples of that, staff newsletter that calls out a job well done, or that little card that I mentioned from River Valley where you get a stamp if you ride your bike to work. So systems and structures, activities, those, those processes within the co-op, those are all opportunities that give people choices to participate that are fun and easy and inspiring. So what I'd like you to do is think about some of those systems at your co-op that are there currently, and think about some that ought to be there. Think about some that make impact, and think about some that help roles be appreciated. 